What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is the JR Wisdom Channel. Once again, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. And if this is your first time checking out one of my videos, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button along with the bell. That way you receive all the notifications for all of my future videos. With that being said, let's hop right into it. So today, this is gonna be a response video to Saralina. I believe that's her name. I've been watching her videos off and on over the years. Um, she has great content, so you guys check her uh, channel out. The link will be in the description, I mean, for this video in particular. And this video, and I, the funny thing is, I was gonna do a video on this, and she just came, it just popped up in my notifications. So I said, perfect timing, let me see what she has to say and then I'm gonna to respond to it. So, and I've done response videos of hers in the past. So with that being said, this is on why your woman doesn't get in the mood for you anymore. And it's, it's kind of funny, and she, she threw a little funny twist in it as well. You know, so I'm gonna give my take on it. I, I agree with two of the seven things, because there's seven reasons. Two of them, you know, it could have been condensed into two, because that's basically, in my opinion, what it boils down to. Even though I'm, I'm not a woman, I know that these are, you know, pretty much the only two reasons why. So she she opens it up where she talks about, I guess, one of her subscribers reaches out to her and uh, he's in his 20s. His girlfriend is in his is in her 20s. And basically, she just stops pulling back. She doesn't want to give him the nookie anymore. You know, it's basically lying about things going on with her, basically saying when she's on her cycle and she's really not on her cycle. And all these other stuff. So he's reaching out to her saying, you know, how can he get 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 her to, you know, you know, come up off that. You know what I'm saying? So um, she responds with this and she gives seven reasons. So her first reason is masculine energy. You know, basically the woman is in her masculine all day long because she has to be out there working and she's basically running and gunning and doing all of this stuff and by the time she comes home after a long day you know you may have been in your feminine or you typically are in your feminine you know throughout the time that you're with her then she comes home after a long day you're not doing anything for her and basically you just want to all of a sudden get in your masculine you know and you're ready to go to pound town you don't want to warm anything up or nothing like that. And you just want to go ham Newton. It doesn't work like that. So that was one of the reasons she gave, which I mean, eh, you know, I, I, I can understand that. But why would you want to be with a feminine man anyway? But a lot of women are a lot of women are with dudes who don't have jobs. They have dudes living with them and stuff like that, which, in, in my opinion, is being in their feminine while she's providing for him. But that's neither here nor there. Once again, that goes back to my video of low hanging fruit, picking the man that, you know, you're better than that. You're doing better than you're outperforming. Number two, she says, is history. You may have had some traumatic history in the past. You've cheated on her. You cheated. You're a serial cheater, cheating on her multiple times. Uh, she resented you, things like that. And maybe over time when you guys are about to get intimate, it triggers a memory where she thinks of, you know, you being intimate with this other woman, things like that. So that could be a reason. Number three, she could be just faking it. I mean, women do this, I guess. Some dudes just don't care because at the end of the day, as long as they're getting theirs, I mean, who cares if she's faking it or not? But women you know other than you needing a place to stay or some money why would you continue to be in that position you know unless you do have a dude on the outside or on the side to please yourself and uh you know you're just using this dude for a place to stay or, or some money monetary reasons lifestyle reasons four yoni issues yoni issues which i boil down to hygiene so she could be having some bad hygiene going on I don't believe that because if you you guys are, you know, depending on the length that you that you guys have been together, the length of time you guys have been together. I mean, this should be something that, you know, could be addressed or. You know, you'd already notice, I don't think that a woman just out of the blue just comes up with something. I mean, it does happen unless she's doing something on the outside. Women who have multiple partners for you guys who don't know. 
I had to learn this myself. Women who are dealing with multiple partners or if you're dealing with multiple partners, it can alter the pH balance of a woman, which could cause, you know, s smells and things like that. Same way she could be dealing with somebody. So um, number five, cheated on you with a bigger man. <laughs> this is what she said. <laughs> With a bigger man, right? A bigger man. I don't think, I think if she cheats on you, period, she doesn't really, I mean, she'll still do it just for that sake. But if she's really attached to this dude and it's just a thing that she's been doing, she's going to keep on doing it. doesn't matter if he's bigger or not, you know, because, and I think she goes into the video talking about how, you know, <laughs> this is, this, <laughs> they're probably going to uh, demonetize this video. Um, she gets stretched out or whatever, but I don't, it, it, if you know anything about the woman's anatomy, there's a, there's a, there's a snap back and things like that. So that's just, that's foolishness too. Um, the number, number six was self-pleasure. You know, she could be self-pleasuring herself too much. Um, she's into porn or things like that and a nympho or just you know someone who's constantly pleasuring themselves so i just think that i don't think that this just happens all of a sudden in a relationship unless something happens with you where you can't perform anymore so i don't think that that's really realistic unless you would go into the relationship knowing that already so i don't think things will suddenly change so a lot of these things if you notice that she's naming it's not like a sudden thing for the most part number seven she's just not attracted to you anymore <sighs> i don't think that that's the case either just attracted because women women are intimate their intimacy starts in their mind so a dude like you could get fat you know i'm not saying that women love unconditional because that's not the truth at all <laughs> you know? But I think a guy getting fat or a guy getting out of shape, she's still going to be with that dude regardless. Unlike dudes, dudes, we look at it different, you know, for the most part. We're like, damn, she done blew up. You know, we got a problem here. I'm going to have to step out or do my thing. So I don't think that that's, that's the case. And when, when, it, when, when you say just not attracted to, any, to him anymore or just not, she's not attracted to you anymore, that means that she's lost the attachment. So... Here, here's what I believe in terms of why she doesn't want to be with you intimately anymore. Women in general, as I say in my videos, women are fickle. It takes a while for her to fall in love and it takes a while for a woman to fall out of love at the same time. Unfortunately, many dudes don't notice the signs and I'll you know, stick around to the end. I'll attach the video at the end so you guys can see, you know, how to know when you're losing her and things like that. Guys, a lot of times don't know until it's too late. And that's when they go and they're, you know, trying to turn up and trying to get, you know, get over it. Or, you know, after that and realize she's gone, she's not coming back. What do I do to get her back? That's when you go on YouTube and, you know, asking the wrong people. But there's things that you've done over time to completely turn her off of you you completely turn her off so it's just not just one day she just wakes up and just decides to you know bounce on you there's there's signs that you just weren't noticing where she just you know just had enough or she finally got that orbiter to commit to her i don't, don't want to use the word commit but that orbiter has finally done more right things than you have done and uh she's basically you know got this other one you know handling those needs for her so basically she you you've done so much wrong things you completely turned her off she's detached herself mentally from you even though she may have been intimate with you maybe for months even years but she never told you for the most part or maybe subtly because like i say Women communicating innuendo at the end of the day. They won't tell you straight up. Or maybe they will and you can just consider it nagging till eventually, like I said, she's ghost. And you crying like a little ish 
and uh, it's a rap, and you calling her all these names in the book, you know. So uh, that's just that's just how it goes. She's completely turned off, and sometimes you can't get her back. Sometimes you may be able to, but in that department, eh, chances are, you know, women don't go long periods without that. So somebody else is taking care of that for her. You know what I mean? So sorry to say, and I don't care what you ladies say anyway. And the other thing is, besides her just completely falling out with you, that I'm not saying that just because she fell out of love with you or you basically did all these wrong things that she's with another dude. But I'm just saying that she can a secure woman who's fallen out of love with you over time. She's not going to hop into another relationship or start dealing with another dude while you guys are together. That's a secure woman. An insecure woman will be, will will do that till eventually, the, you know, the coast is clear and then she's ghost and you're like. Was like that Kermit meme. What happened? You know what I mean? The other thing is she just meets a dude who she becomes infatuated with and, you know, dude's got better game. You know, dude, she she chose him and she was impressed. She lives in the moment. Women like something new. Women like exciting things. That's why they're like cats. They're very fickle, like I said. So they like new things. They like exciting things. They like that feeling. They like that feeling, guys. They like that feeling. And you have to understand that. They like that feeling. So she could come across a guy that piques her interest, that's exciting, that gives her that feeling that you haven't given her in years. And this dude's texting her, you know, and he's, you know, just just giving her just enough to where, you know, she she gives it up to him. And now he's on her brain. Once he's on her brain, she doesn't have any space for you. She's thinking about this dude. So no matter every time you're trying to pet her, rub on her, caress her, she's turned off completely because she's thinking about being with this dude. Funny story for you guys who read my own, my book. You probably read it in the park. My ex-wife, she was so turned off whether another man or another woman had her mind at the time. We're in the middle of, you know, getting it in and this chick farts on me. True story. Puppeteering with heartstrings. Pick up the book if you haven't picked it up. That's just how turned off she was. We're still married. That she just disrespected me like that. <laughs> and I know you guys are probably laughing, but true story. That's what happened. So she was completely turned off. She had something else on her mind. Whether that was another dude or not, nine times out of ten, there was another dude or another woman on her mind, you know, because <laughs> sometimes it could be another woman. Hey, so uh, with that being said, guys, you know, if she's mentally checked out, it's too late. Those are my my opinion on the two things at the end of the day. Mentally checked out altogether, or there's just another guy, and he just blow blowed her socks off, and he's like the new the new guy in there. All these other things, I mean, these are symptoms <laughs> of what I'm talking about. You know, she could have contracted the SDD from the dude, or something like that, or one of these other things, or you know, something something to that effect. But that's my opinion. Shout out to Sarah Lena, though. I appreciate the content. You just triggered me to hurry up and hop on this. Um, you make sure you guys check out our video. Like I said, the link is in the description. So with that being said, if you guys like the video, you know, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know your thoughts. I would like to hear your thoughts on this in comments and, you know, basically similar situations to this. You know what I mean? And uh, if you guys haven't hit that subscribe button along with the bell, that way you receive all of the notifications for all of my future videos. Share this video if you feel like it'll be a benefit to anyone. And with that being said, if you guys want to book a one on one with yours truly, hit me up on Calendly. Calendly. I, I keep messing that up. The link is in the description. If you got any topics you'd like me to discuss or, you know, questions, make sure you guys hit me up on the email. The links is also in the description as well. 
And with that being said, if you guys haven't picked up my my uh, my book, The Law of Attraction for the Pessimistic Mind, make sure you guys check it out. It's available on Amazon.com in ebook format and paperback. It's a great read for those of you trying to control your emotions and manifest what it is that you want in this life. Make sure you guys check out these these videos here popping up on the screen that's related to this topic. And with that being said, peace be upon you and the mercy and blessings of the almighty. And I will catch you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.